So I've got to get the yard ready for the vet. And at the moment, I have this barrier for the horses here so they have access to their water and their, while they're in the shed at night. And um, the rams can't get in this space. So I have to pull this whole apparatus forward and I have to get this grooming stand out of the way as well. So I'm going to use the quad to tow, pull everything forward because that's the quickest way to do it. The vet's coming because Buster has a huge abscess, uh, tooth abscess in his cheek. And so I'm hoping that the vet can do something about it because it's a huge pussy thing, isn't it? It's nasty. Unlike you, Marco Polo, you're such a good old man. Such a good old man. Anyway, so wish me luck on a quick towing of the whole yard to make it sheep usable and vet accessible before the vet arrives. Uh, with this COVID-19, one can never be too careful. Excuse me, Maya, who are you barking at? Maya, Maya. Uh, uh, no, yeah, you gotta behave. You have to behave. Well, you gotta behave. You can't get through that way. Come here. Come here, Maya. Come on. Figure it out. Figure it out. Come on. On your pup. Come on. Oh, you clever pup. Clever girl. Oh, God, you do climb. <laughs> so, oh, gosh. No, Maya. Maya's being very dangerous. She climbs all the way up this high. Maya, you're such a bold pup. I don't know if you can see her on my shoulder. She loves getting up on my shoulder. Okay, Maya, I've got to put you down. Oh, 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 oh. There, you're down. Yeah. Never. Now I've got to get to work. Now, quickest way, this is heavy. It, it looks like it's light, but it's quite heavy. And the quickest way is I have a loop on the tow bar, wrap it around here, pull this up, and you can see I have a long bit of rope. I usually use this rope for pulling branches out of trees that are dead with the pickup. It's my kind of uh, chainsaw, as if you will, uh, fast moving chainsaw, so I don't have to climb trees. So it usually gets thrown up into the uh, usually gets thrown up into the um, tree. So anyway, this is let's see. Perfect. See, it makes it look so easy when that actually is very heavy. So that's a quickie of moving. that whole long thing there. Next step. So this whole apparatus is connected together with these spikes and to take it apart and put it together again it would take much too long. So there is water in the trough um, but it doesn't matter if that spills out. But this whole apparatus there's no room for the vet to get in there and no room at the shoot end for a big ram, big old ram to get in. So I have to pull this whole yoke out before the vet arrives, who might arrive any minute now. So this is what I've done. I've rigged it up to this to pull it out. So it's out from that running wall on the other side where the horses are, you can kind of see. And so the rams can get in to the entrance way. So we're gonna see if, um, this works or not. Oh, let me, I need a bit more rope. There we go. So we'll see, just in case, we'll see how this goes and if I can actually move the whole thing in one piece. So I don't know if that's going to work. Let's see, where, where shall I put this so that you all can see? Oh, I see, I can put it right here. So let's see if this works. 
Okay. Okay. Now. I think I've managed to do it. I've pulled it out at an angle so I can get the ram. The vet can work on this side over here and the rams can get in from here. So that worked. A treat. Made a lot of noise and spooked the horses. But they've calmed down now. But uh, yeah. Job done! Now to get the rams in before the vet comes and undo my little towing apparatus jury rigging. Oh, bear. You trying to get away from here. You being mean to bear. You good boy bear. Yes. You're such a good boy. Come on. Well, there's Alfie. This is Buster. He's the one with the issue, you can see right there. Smudge. Young fella, Finn bar. So, just in time, the vet is literally driving up the driveway. I better go put the dogs in. So, you didn't have any problems, did you, Finn bar? So here's Buster. And it looks like Buster has this it might be a melanoma. So that's a real sadness for us. So um gotta spray this. Oops, stingy stingy, I know. Very stingy. This is to keep flies away. He's had uh we've given him uh, injections of penicillin. So I've got to keep him close to hand in the yard now for the next week. And it turns out Alfie has arthritis in his front right shoulder. I've been trying to fix him for ages, but he's old, so he has arthritis. And so everybody else is fine. This one's hiding its head. Oh, now let's see, I want to do a little bit more. There we go really soak into that wind. There we go. Poor Buster. Just no fun. So hopefully it's not a melanoma or we're in trouble and Buster's breeding life is over. Hopefully it's just a little abscess. So now I've got to let everybody out. Are you going to come out? If I open the gate, will you come out? Huh? So here we go. You guys are going to stay close to home for a few days. Oh, poor Buster. Good shake. Poor Alfie with his arthritis. So there we go. And I think um, Smudge has a bit of arthritis as well. That's what happens with aging rams. They get old and get arthritis. They've got a bit of greenness here under beautiful blooming pear tree. 
This is a lovely pear tree blooming.